Let's take a look here at Knative versus OpenFast. And really all I did was grab a excerpt from an article for, on the CNCF blog from 2020 called Serverless Open Source Frameworks, OpenFast, Knative, and more. Strongly recommend to read it, even though we are a few years in the future here. Uh, I still think it rings true based on what I was looking at and just maybe will help to understand the difference between these two a little bit more. So unlike OpenFast, Knative is not a full-fledged serverless platform, but is better positioned as a platform for creating, deploying, and managing serverless workloads. However, from the point of the view of configuration and maintenance, OpenFast is simpler. With OpenFast, there is no need to install all components separately as Knative, and you don't have to clear previous settings and resources for new developments if the required components have already been installed. Still, as mentioned uh, above, a significant drawback of OpenFast is the container launch time depends on the provider. While Knative is not tied to any single cloud solution, provider. Based on the pros and cons of both, organizations may also choose to use Knative OpenFast together to effectively achieve different goals. So one thing that was interesting is the container launch time depends on the provider. I didn't fully understand why. Do you know what I mean? So that's one thing I wasn't sure about that I really tried to research. Another interesting thing is just when you see the stacks, like the tools involved, Op or Knative feels a lot more towards um, the CNCF's projects, like like standard projects, and OpenFast is a little bit different. Um, so like Knative feels more, again, a better migration path back to full Kubernetes if you need it, and OpenFast is really feels like serverless, like you don't have to do a lot of work there. So there you go.